Hey, players. So we have no indictments in the Jaheim McMillan case. A Mississippi grand jury has returned no indictments today against the officer that fatally shot 15-year-old Jaheim McMillan in October of 2022. A portion of the body camera footage has been released and it shows the officer firing eight shots at Jaheim McMillan as he ran away. So the officer's name is Kenneth Nasser. And again, he fired eight shots at 15-year-old Jaheim McMillan outside of a family dollar store in broad daylight. So Officer Nasser and another officer, Benjamin Ford, responded to a 911 call on October 6th that reported reckless driving. An investigative report stated that the caller said that the occupants inside of a silver Kia Soul were brandishing firearms and wearing camouflage masks. Dash cam footage shows that Jaheem McMillan and four other teens were sitting inside of a Kia Soul in the parking lot of the Family Dollar as officers arrived on the scene. Jaheem McMillan ran out of the car while trying to cover something with his sweatshirt in his hand. Uh, another teen jumped out of the car behind him. The dash cam footage does appear to show a weapon in Jaheem McMillan's hand as he decides which direction to run. But at no point does McMillan point a weapon toward the officer. Jaheem falls to the ground and the officer fires his last shots as Jaheem is laying on the ground. An autopsy revealed that Jaheem was hit in the head. The Mississippi Bureau of Investigations completed their investigation into the shooting this week and its findings were presented to a grand jury in which they declined to indict Kenneth Nasser. Kenneth Nasser said in an interview as a part of the investigation that he saw Jaheem McMillan with a weapon and ordered him to drop it and that he remembered firing at least eight times. He said he handcuffed Jaheem while he was injured on the ground, which is common practice. The entire encounter between Jaheem McMillan and Officer Kenneth Nasser lasted five to seven seconds. And the Mississippi Grand Jury has chosen not to indict him on any charges at all. Um, like I said, the encounter lasted about five seconds. At no point in the video does Jaheem point this alleged weapon at any of the officers. He was actually running away. So players, is running away from an officer constitute you being shot eight times and once in the head? Players, put your thoughts in the comments. This is Double D Mo for the Black Accurate News.